Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome to Christmas Decorating Extravaganza year number two. Last year was my first year being in my own home, really having my own true space to really truly decorate for Christmas. Got my first ever Christmas tree, this big mama over here, which is my 12 foot tree from last year. My dad helped me put this up yesterday as prep for today because today we're really getting into it. We're gonna be fully transforming the space, getting ready for the holidays. I'm super excited. So we're basically gonna be using a lot of the same decorations and ornaments and trees that I bought last year. But this year I am adding stuff onto it because I wanted to do like a slightly different theme. So let me just show you. Okay, so last year we did Winter Wonderland, a lot of white ornaments and white furry fluffy stuff. But this year we're adding in, can you guess? Kind of a candy cane peppermint theme on top of the white that I already had. So essentially I did get some stuff that's like literally straight up striped candy cane stuff, like this wrapping paper or whatever. But then I mostly got just like a lot of red ornaments to add in with the white that I already have cause it's gonna be like red and white. So my haul for this year, we got the big jumbo red ornaments. I got a lot of stuff from at home, but also Walmart actually. Actually. And then I got this little variety pack of like glitter, metallic, red ornaments. These, which I just got them cause they were candy canes and I'm like, okay, I'm doing the peppermint candy cane theme. So anything that was like candy canes, I just grabbed. And then this, this was from Walmart, I believe. So I got two of these sets. This was also from Walmart, I believe, just kind of like the more soft matte red. These are, I think were from at home, kind of medium size. Size. So I have these big jumbo ones, but then medium, and then kind of the standard size, cause I like a variety. These were from Walmart, again, with the peppermint. More of these, and then this was the variety pack that I got from Walmart. So lots of red ornaments, cause I already had white. Although, this is all the stuff from last year, and I'm looking at this and I'm like, I thought I had more ornaments than this. <laughs> Do I really only just have this one box of white? We have like these ones that kind of look like snowballs and then these big like jumbo glitter ones. But then I also incorporated more of this type of color scheme last year, like almost like a silvery gold. So I'm not sure if this is gonna go well with the red, but I am trying to build up my ornament variety repertoire because growing up, my mom always had like options. Like she had like a red set, a purple set, a blue set of ornaments. So every year we could kind of choose what color scheme we wanted to do. So I'm taking a page from her book and I'm trying to kind of do that same thing. Some other new stuff stuff that I got this year. I got this thing at Target. It's like a little how many days till Christmas counter thing. And it's got a stand on the back so you can prop it up on a table, but it's also got where you can hang it on the wall if you wanted to do that. I thought that I would just prop it up over here or even on my console table over there or something. I am gonna be trying to link as many things down below as I can find. Sometimes stuff is not online, it's sold out or whatever, but if I can find the stuff, I will link it down below for you guys. So there's that. Other new stuff that I got. Okay, so I I did, I did do some damage this year. I bought a lot last year and I felt like that was already a lot. But then once I put it all up, it really wasn't a lot. Cause with a 12 foot tree, you need a lot of stuff to put on a 12 foot tree. And with my big open concept house, like I just felt like I needed more stuff. So I already talked about like some of those other red ornaments I got, but I did also get like even more. And then these, which I thought were super cute. These little sparkly, fluffy candy cane ornaments. These are from at home. I got two packs. They also had these ones, which are slightly different. Then I got this red garland and this one. Okay, y'all, I don't know. I'm trying to do this DIY that I saw on TikTok. I think it's so cute. It looks doable, okay? I searched high and low for the supplies. I had to get the chicken wire, command hooks. But the thing is, it requires so many ornaments to fill up the whole archway. But I have this perfect archway over here. Well, that I thought was gonna be perfect to put it on. But as I look closer, I realize that we may run into some issues, but at some point throughout this video, I'm going to be trying to attempt the chicken wire archway ornament arch thing. And I saw people incorporate garland into it, even Christmas lights. Dollar Tree has these for a dollar. 
you get how many? Seven normal size for a dollar or 12 smaller ones for a dollar. So I got a bunch of these, but now I don't even know if I'm gonna use them because I feel like they're not the right color. I did also get some of this big giant red ribbon. I got my command hooks for my little archway DIY. And I got some pipe cleaners. I'm gonna show you what we're about to do with these pipe cleaners in a second. Suction cup hooks. I don't remember why I bought this bushy. <laughs> More different types of red ribbon from Dollar Tree. And they also had ornament hooks. You always need more of these little metal hooks. Oh, and this wire. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Cause I bought a lot of random stuff cause I'm trying to do a lot of little DIY. So you just gotta stay tuned. But from Target, the other thing I wanted to show y'all from Target, I couldn't resist. I know I'm not trying to do gold this year, but I have gold all around my house anyway. Got these from Target because they are an upgrade from some little rinky dink ones that I think, I don't remember where I got them last year. I like it because it kind of looks like a mom. Well, this one's not really a baby, but Sorta of gives you like mama and baby, me and Zaya vibes. Had to get the peppermint pillow to like put on the couch next to the tree. But yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much my haul. A lot of red peppermint stuff. So I think first things first, I kind of want to see about the TikTok archway DIY thing first, just to even see if it's going to work. And then we could get into all the regular like decorating the tree and stuff. I already know that's going to be fine, but let's see about this DIY. So the main things that you need for this project based on all the TikToks that I've seen kind of quickly going through it. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I saw that they used this chicken wire, or I guess it's called hardware cloth and then you hang the wire to the wall using command hooks so that it's removable and you don't mess up your wall. All right, so this is like connected to itself with wire. Ah! Okay. So I need to see like how wide. Ah, oh, this is gonna take forever. I gotta cut each individual thing all the way down. So this is really long. I need a measuring tape because I need to measure. I can do a straight line going all the way up to like here. And then I'm gonna have to do smaller individual pieces to make it curve around. Okay, so from here, 80. I would say 80. So I'm gonna mark that cut here. The problem with this and these little wire cutters that I have are that in order to cut through this, you have to cut each one do, 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 to cut it apart. And we're gonna have to do that here and then all along there to cut this long piece and then continue that to get all the pieces that we need to go around the whole thing. So <laughs> luckily I have Maya here. All right, the two main side strips of chicken wire have been cut by Maya. I bought these command hooks. That's what I felt like I saw people using. So I'm gonna attach these to hook the wire to the wall. So here's the hook. It's just, you know, the sticky stuff, so it's removable. So hopefully this will be a damage-free installation. So I'm gonna stick this to the wall. Okay. So I put one hook here. That seems to be working well. I'm gonna put another hook, oops, on the other side. Stick it on tight. Okay, so I figured something out. I got the first strip of chicken wire attached to the wall. First two hooks are just, as you would imagine, just kind of hooked normally on there. But then I figured out that in order to really hold the rest of it, how I needed to hold it, I had to put the hook upside down. If you're doing this experiment, we're putting some of the hooks upside down to kind of like drag it down, like hold it downwards, if that makes sense. So two normal and then some upside down to hold it onto the wall. And we cut out a little hole for this, I think we're also gonna have to probably cut a hole on this side because the light switch is right there. But I'm about to do the same thing for this other strip. Then we're gonna have to figure out how to kind of do little pieces to kind of go along the curved edge. And that's probably gonna be challenging. All right, this side went up a lot more smoother. It took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to get the first side on. But since I kind of figured it out now, I was able to kind of copy the same thing over to this side. So far, got the two sides done. Now Maya is cutting more. <laughs> what? She's gonna be cutting more strips of wire for the top part. So the idea is you get your wire base, then you're able to just take your regular ornaments and ornament hooks, I think. So let's just test this out. Get your ornament, get your normal little hook, and then now you have something to hang it on. Yeah! 
<laughs> but you can only imagine how many ornaments it would take to fill up the whole arch. So that's why I got this garland because I've seen where people will kind of add this in the mix to fill up space. So garland, Christmas lights, ornaments, other little like ribbons, bows, just to like fill it up. We're gonna see what all it takes to really fill it up. All right, after quite a bit of trial and error, I have at least somewhat got all the chicken wire attached to the wall. You can see how we just did smaller chunks around the top to kind of get the curve going. And then I feel like once it's all filled in, it'll look okay. So now comes the fun part, which is actually hanging a bunch of stuff on it. Maya is now on um, ornament hooker duty. And just what you all are probably thinking at home, Bougie has already tried to yank it down and he messed up one of the hooks. Bougie, you are not allowed to mess with this. I have got the chicken wires. Ah! What? <laughs> oh my God, look at, I stepped on the chicken wire and it's literally, it's stabbed in both ways. What the heck? First step of decorating the tree, well besides getting it up and put all together in the first place, which is a feat all in its own, but like I said, my dad helped me with that yesterday. Second thing is to fluff out and spread out all the branches cause they're like on wire and they get all bent up and squished together. And then I can start hanging stuff on it. Okay, so Zaya is home from school now. She was at school earlier when Maya and I were getting started, but now that she's here, you wanna help me put some ornaments on the tree? Okay, so these are the ornaments that we're gonna start with. I'm gonna have to wait and see if we need to buy more, but we want them all spread out over the whole tree. So here's where we're at so far. Pretty much got the portion of the tree that I'm able to reach with my little step stool filled in. And then I set aside the rest of these ornaments to kind of go at the tippy top of the tree. But everything from here down is looking good. So I think we're just gonna do these and kind of leave it at that for now. Last year we did white and gold theme. This year we're doing red and white candy cane. Which one do you like better? You like this one better? I like that one better and I like the whole theme. I almost forgot about one of the little hacks that I wanted to try slash show you guys in this video. Again, something else that I saw on TikTok. And that is what I was planning to do with these white pipe cleaners that I got. I just bought a pack of pipe cleaners for a dollar. I got white. But what I saw on TikTok is you're supposed to take like a handful of ornaments, maybe like three, four, five. You just string them onto the pipe cleaner through the little hole where you would normally put the hook and you get like three at a time. So then when you twist the pipe cleaner, you get like this little cluster of three and stick it on your tree so you end up with like these little clusters. I don't know, let's see what it looks like. I mean, I suppose with the red ornaments, they kind of look like little clusters of berries, which could be a cute look depending on what you're going for. I'm not crazy about it though. This might be a fail. This might be, I mean, not a fail, but just, I don't think I'm gonna do this all over the whole tree. <laughs> okay, so I have these big candy cane sticks that I got. Then I did also randomly buy these um, suction cup hooks. Cause these suction cups are really only gonna work on like glass. What if I use them to like hook onto my windows right here or something? Just a thought. Like if I put the suction cup on the window. <laughs> that looks really stupid. Just hanging there by itself. Oh, maybe on the stairs. Yeah, I was gonna think about that. Hmm? I was gonna think about that. You were gonna say that? Maybe some kind of way on the stairs? I mean, that doesn't look like anything. <laughs> what can I do with these little candy canes? Hmm. Update, if you're looking for a quality suction cup for a low, low price, go ahead and get you some 
Dollar Tree suction cups because they work real good, so good that I cannot get this off of my window now. Uh, send help. All right, guys, it is the next day. I went back to the store to get more supplies. Two big old bags from at home. I got more ornaments. Mostly got like white ornaments because we have pretty much all, well, we do have all red on there right now. Got some extra garland, more ornaments. I did get a few more red just because it came in the set. I got two of these kind of like jumbo ones, which I think will be cute to add into the um, doorway. And I did get the white wire lights. These were 98 cents each at Walmart. So I got, I think like eight of them because I thought maybe, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them like here or on the tree or what, but like just to help fill in space. I also got this at, at home. It's a little mini stocking with paw prints on it for Bougie, because Bougie needs a stocking now too. So Maya is gonna be on hook duty with all these new ornaments that I got. Got more hooks, so we can start adding them onto here. While she's doing that, I am going to finish setting up the rest of my other smaller trees. I went back to the store like 57 times trying to get everything I needed because once you start decorating, this happens and you're like, oh, I need one more piece of garland. We'll leave it for now. start um, putting the other things on there. So I was kind of testing out how to get this uh, garland on here. Basically, I'm kind of just swirling it through and it's kind of just holding itself on there with the ornaments. But then I do also have the lights. I should probably put the lights before the garland so that the lights kind of shine through the garland. vacuum up and I'm just gonna use my same white fur tree skirt from last year. Made yet another trip to the store because I needed more garland for the arch. We're gonna finish that up. I actually never had any tree skirts for these because last year I just used fake snow. Let's see how these look. Oh, they're the perfect little size. Just to have something to cover up these little bases. Classic Santa vibes. So gotta finish that, figure out what to do with these candy canes, figure out what to do with the skinny trees, finish the big tree, hang up the stockings, finish the tree that's in the front, also my outdoor decor, and then I still have all my little like like little knickknacks that kind of go around the rest of the house and my like tablescape. Last year I used like these type of little cone trees for my dining table. And then knowing me, I'm probably gonna be ordering more stuff and buying more stuff. Cause I know last year I went back to the store literally like 10 times. So far I've been three times. Rest of the space is going to be transformed, but that is all we have time for in this video. So you guys will have to stay tuned for my next video to actually see the full finished products but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye